What's good guys, Nick Boletto from Boletto Brigade here. I uh, just showed you a little raw footage of my bench press. Today was a uh, 3x5. Um, the fifth set there was at 175 and it was a 5 plus set. So as you see I got 6 there. Uh, probably could have gotten a 7th. I just didn't feel comfortable going for it because I didn't have a spotter. Um, but I'm really happy with my form. Um, and I'm actually admiring that arch that I got in my back, so uh, I'm happy with that. Um, you know, I, I think everything looks good, and I'm progressing just as I would like to. Next, for a little hypertrophy slash accessory work, I did some uh, really slow eccentric um, incline dumbbell presses. Uh, I was doing three sets of 40 seconds, which I did 50 pounds for. Next I did some cable flies and I just want to talk about cable flies for a second here. A lot of guys do these when they come from an angle um, and they also use weights that they can't control. I'm going to be honest, I'm using like 12 and a half pounds here or something which you know a lot of guys are using upwards of 20 or 25 and they usually fire from their delts and not their chest. I am using a really light weight. I don't have split feet, I'm not leaning forward, and I'm not coming in from an angle, I'm coming right across my nipples, and I'm focusing on bringing my elbows and my wrists together instead of just my hands, not bending at the arms, and that's really the best way to get a pump in your chest, guys. Um, next, I'm doing some rope pushdowns. As you can see, I'm, I've got two ropes extended here. Uh, the reason that I do that is because if I only have one rope on, then the rope usually hits my waist. But here, I just grab up a little bit higher on the ropes, attach one rope for each hand, and then I can get really full extension through my hips instead of just to my hips with just one rope. Um, but uh, yeah, you guys admire my triceps there. Looking pretty good. So, um... Again, three sets of 40 seconds for all of these accessory movements. I feel like that's the best pump. Uh, anyway, this is the next day. It's my back day. Uh, I started off with some heavy deads. This is my 5 plus set at 300 pounds. Um, I had never, I got 275 for four a couple weeks ago. And today I went ahead and got 300 for seven. So. Uh, this was awesome. I was feeling great, and I'm really happy with the progress that I'm making. Even though my calories are slightly lower, um, you know, so my form looks pretty good. My back's a little too rounded, but uh, that can be improved. Enjoy the rest of the video, guys. What's up, guys? Nick Boletto here. Um, right now, I'm eating a little oatmeal, two servings of oatmeal, half a serving of peanut butter. And I've got myself one scoop of peanut butter marshmallow cellular core way on deck for the breakfast of champions. So a quick little update guys. I woke up this morning and uh, I got my tape measure in yesterday. So I'm pretty happy about that. It's a, in my opinion, a lot more accurate way than um, to keep track of your results and weighing yourself. So uh, this morning um, I took all of my measurements. And the last time I took my measurements was on winter break. And um, so I'm two pounds heavier than I was. Uh, all my measurements stayed the same except my arms are an inch bigger and my waist is an inch and a half smaller. So considering I'm two pounds heavier and my waist is an inch and a half smaller, then uh, I've deduced that I must have gained mass you know, lean mass, muscle mass all over, and probably a decent amount of it considering an inch and a half off your waist is probably the equivalent, I don't know, like five pounds. So, uh, you know, I know that I gained some size in my arms because I'm an inch bigger despite having lost an inch and a half of my waist. So, um, you know, I'm two pounds heavier plus the five. So you got to figure in the last three months I've gained about, you know, anywhere between maybe four and seven pounds of lean muscle so uh, you know I'm really happy with my progress right now um, I feel great and I think I look a lot better than I did three months ago so um, stay tuned guys thanks for watching what's good YouTube I'm 
sipping on two scoops of Cellucor C4, getting ready for my workout today. It's uh, shoulders and biceps today. I'm looking forward to doing some overhead press. Um, like the last month, I was doing strictly seated dumbbell press. And the month before that, I was doing like uh, just seated military press. So, um, you know, this month I'm focusing on performance and strength, which is why I'm doing the overhead press. So, uh, I think my one rep max on overhead press is like 125. I couldn't quite get 135 up. So, um, yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how that goes. And uh, I'll try to get some clips for you guys. So, stay tuned. What's up guys, it is shoulders and biceps commentary coming at you right now. I'm starting off my shoulder and by a day with uh, some overhead press. Um, I did three sets of five with 80, 90, and 100 pounds. Uh, this is kind of a bad angle, but the other angles would be better. So um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with my form on these. Honestly, I mean, I haven't done them in two months. Um, you know, Omar Esoff has a really good form video that I'll link in the description. I think it's a it's a good video for anybody who's looking to get into the overhead press. You know, I was really just focusing on flexing at the core, flexing my glutes so I don't get too much over arch my back. I was trying to have a vertical push and just trying to finish behind me with some active shoulders. Uh, probably over exaggerating it a little bit but I got all the reps and it felt pretty good um, so I'm excited to see where the rest of that goes uh, here comes a hundred pounds five reps um, the first four reps looks really good uh, the last one wasn't so great but uh, you know that that's all right it was pretty heavy it was my last set but I pushed through I'm happy where I am uh, I'm only going to progress from here. Next up after this set, I went ahead and I did a uh, Arnold Press Dumbbell Press Super Set. So, um, you know, the Arnold Press, in my opinion, is the best thing to build up your shoulders because of the supination and pronation. Um, your shoulder is obviously a ball and socket joint, so, you know, the rotational... Uh, aspect of this exercise is what makes it so effective um, so I, I was hitting these and then um, because it's so difficult you know usually your shoulders aren't totally fatigued but you can't do more of the Arnold press so I go into a dumbbell press to fully exhaust my shoulders um, I just do as many reps as I can get which is usually like 12 to 15 total so um, you know that's what I do I did some buys and I did some uh, rear lateral raises for the rear delt as well but uh, I didn't film those, so I hope you liked the video, guys. Uh, comment, subscribe, check out my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, and you can always email me at nickboletto at gmail.com with any questions. See you guys.